Welcome back to the show, guys. I'm your host, Valentine. Expecting you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. On today's show, is there another stimulus check coming? I haven't covered an update on this channel in a couple couple days, maybe a week or two. I haven't done anything regarding the stimulus check. We have some news now. Trump wants, officially, he wants at least a $2 trillion stimulus package. Okay, so let's see where we're at right now. Right now, this is where we're at. The House of Representatives passed a $3 trillion HEROES Act, it's called, where some of the key points is extending that uh, that uh, unemployment uh, insurance, that extra $600 on top of your unemployment insurance, all the way up to December, which is a little bit crazy, right? Because that's not incentivizing people to go back to work. That's the first thing. It's also giving uh, families a, a maximum of $6,000, $1,200 per person, which is something that is uh, great in the next stimulus check, right? Directly to us, right? Which is which is good. But the price tag is $3 trillion. So now uh, the Republicans have not offered something officially. The Senate has not offered something officially. But Mitch McConnell has come out. And he said that he's looking at something around $1 trillion. So now we have three from one side, one from one side. The president comes in and he puts it at two. So this is what he's looking at, around two something. Some of the key points is direct payments to the American citizen in this package. We're going to find out. This is a story from Forbes. Let's read some of the key points right here. It says, according to White House trade advisor Peter Navarro, the president wants the next stimulus bill to be at least $2 trillion. This is nearly double the $1 trillion amount that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said. It will target and two thirds the size of the three trillion dollars Heroes Act that the House of Democrats passed. Navarro made comments on uh, this was on uh, Fox News. Okay, so let's see some of the key points. He's talking about manufacturing, bringing back manufacturing to the United States. Why? Because we have a lot of our manufacturing outside of the United States. Obviously, economies of scales. It's cheaper to have it outside. It's cheaper to have it in places like China, which is uh, obviously China's known as a factory of the world, but it's in enemy territory. So we cannot have vital supplies, vital medicines to be in the hands of the enemy. Let's see some of the key points here. COVID-19, this is him saying, uh, Peter Navarro, COVID-19 has hit major metropolitan areas, especially impacting high-rise density and mass transit. If those are not working, then you can't have a city. We're talking about maybe mass transit, maybe infrastructure here. Uh, key point number two, two, a key trust of any phase four stimulus has to be manufacturing jobs. The focus should be, point number three, the focus should be buy American, hire American, and make it in the USA. Japan already has set some money aside to bring some of its company out of mainline China, bring it back into Japan. Why? Why would you want to have anything that's vital out in another country when you could be benefiting your citizens and your economy? When you support manufacturing jobs, you can create a ripple effect for afford to create more service sectors, uh, jobs that have been dislocated from the COVID-19. Okay, so what is in some of the specifics maybe? And this is where we get, are we getting in, are we going to get a, a second stimulus check? Let's see. What are some of the incentives that could be in this package? The next, I'm reading right here. The next stimulus bill needs to create demand, supply, and investment signals to bring manufacturing to the USA, bring back uh, jobs again. The payroll tax, Donald Trump said that if the next stimulus bill does not include a payroll tax cut, don't even put it in his desk. A payroll tax cut, employees pay into it and, and uh, employers pay into it. So it will benefit both sides. The only problem that it's not gonna be, at least for the individual employee, it's not gonna be a, a major, uh, it's not gonna be a lot of money. For example, he the the, if I'm not mistaken, and somebody might uh, should correct me on this, but I covered this in one of my older videos, which you should go and check that check out if uh, you haven't yet. Uh, for the person working 40 hours a week, 50 at a 15 hour um, hourly rate, he's only gonna save about like $60 a month. That's it. So really, almost nothing. Um, now when it comes to now, and we keep reading here, medicine. He says also. Vital supplies, medicine, medical supplies, and equipment should be brought back to America. What did he not mention? The stimulus check directly to um, citizens of the United States. So, 
<laughs> Are we gonna get another check? Uh, it looks tough, but I tell you this. I tell you this. I tell you this, man. Donald Trump. This is an election year for the president of the United States. The economy was buzzing along before this all happened. And Donald Trump will do anything that he has to do to make the economy um, start firing on all cylinders again, whether he has to give direct payments to uh, citizens again, whether he has to do whatever he has to do. I believe, I, I, I do believe that there's some money coming to um, Americans still. I think Donald Trump <laughs> is going to want that to almost buy the the the, the votes or, or or to keep people happy obviously the the money that was given in the first check was not enough to a lot of the people and we still are in the shutdown we're still recovering from the shutdown those bills are still there the pay, the rent payments even though we haven't paid the rent payments you still have to pay them you still you, you still owe that so there's a lot of money people owe and and it's in the best interest of Donald Trump to keep the people of the United States happy. Guys, remember, we're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers on the channel. Only with your help, we're going to make it happen. And you know what? In my in my heart of hearts, as they say, I believe we're going to make this channel grow. Guys, I believe it. I believe it. So give me a like. Give me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. Follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. God bless. God be me, Valentine. I'm out.